So I've been a Linode customer for 10 years and now they're sponsoring this channel. Linode is a great product when it comes to web hosting. I've used them in my $20 a month account to literally serve traffic to hundreds of thousands of people in a month and it only cost me $20 a month. When you compare that to Azure AWS, like it doesn't even, it's not even in the same ballpark. Linode has all kinds of options to choose from, including their new dedicated CPU plans. And if you're trying to do stuff like machine learning, like video encoding, any sort of like databases, game servers, data mining, stuff like that, um, these dedicated CPU plans are, are right down your alley as far as what you're going to need. Um, so Linode already has nine data centers around the world, and they're opening two more this year. If you guys sign up, you get a $20 a month credit just to sign up with the link in the description tab below. So make sure you use that because you can save 20 bucks. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm talking about the most controversial software, uh, Python sp software specifically that is being mentioned in the news lately. And that has to do with machine learning and artificial intelligence. So this is the first time that we're starting to see a lot of uh, user driven code um, that is being used to do kind of nefarious things. Um, and one of those things is this deepfakes. So in 2017, an anonymous Reddit user under the pseudonym deepfakes uh, posted links to pornographic videos that appeared to feature uh, famous mainstream celeb celebrities. Uh, the videos were fake. Uh, the user cr created them using off-the-shelf artificial intelligence tools. So in this video, what I'm talking about is the tools that were used in order to make that. Um, and the repository that's actually trending right now uh, quite heavily is uh, this face swap. And this face swap is actually quite impressive but with python using tensorflow and a few other things you're able to um sub out like you know people's faces and stuff That's just to win so i i just like it was just i this was this is very truly surprising for me so if you don't know who that is that's steve buscemi i actually the, the face is steve buscemi i'm not sure who the actual speaker is there but uh clearly they're able to, to actually you know sync up the the lips to the to the voice quite well i think that that's the most impressive part that i've seen in it um, but this actually all started due to a buzzfeed article that got featured so it all started with this video here enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time seeing is not believing so anyway, that video apparently caught the attention of a lot of people because they were like, oh, it looks so real. Like, so if you really look at that video, though, I, I'll point links in the description uh, tab below. But I really feel like it, it looks sort of fake um, looking at it. So like for uh, but I could see the, the, the concern, though, because people are saying like some people say it's a concern. Some people say it's not whatever, because we haven't seen a whole lot of nefarious stuff yet, you know, with, with something like this. But. Um, you're clearly coming to like a day and age where like you can really like start to fool people with, um, you know, what somebody may have said or something like that. And with the type of um, like civil backlash that we have, uh, especially with, with social media, when like certain things uh, blow up and like people, um, you know, start attacking one group or, another, you know, one person or whatever it may be. Um, whether deserved or not, you know what I mean? Like, uh, f but for all different types of reasons, like we've seen with the social networking, you know, day and age that like, it's kind of crazy how, how quickly things can like spiral out of control. Um, and like, so the, the question is what kind of damage can be done with technology like this? And, uh, and for the people that say that, you know, don't worry about it. Well, what about the fact that, you know, obviously that this is, um, stuff that's being featured in the news. A lot of people have interest in it. Uh, to mess around with it. And then clearly this um, this repository is actually trending quite heavily, meaning that there are quite a bit of programmers out there that are interested in um, you know pushing this forward or seeing it push forward. So for this Verge article to say that it's not a real problem, um, it probably will be a problem when more and more programmers start jumping into it and then using it and creating tools to make it easier to, to consume. So I think needless to say, for the people to say that there's nothing to worry about with this type of technology, I think that's kind of naive. I think there's clearly stuff to be worried about. McAfee's like saying, oh, you, you know, you have to be worried. But clearly McAfee's in the software, you know, in, in uh, cybersecurity, uh, you know, they, they're into that business, obviously. So they're going to be selling their product in, in relation to that. So um, hopefully it's not one of those things where it's just a bunch of money to be made, um, to like circumvent deep fakes uh, type of thing. Like maybe we should spin, um, go ahead and spin up some software companies on how to like circumvent deep fake uh, attacks to make sure that like video is legit. Let's run it through like a deep fake check or something. Um, that's your software idea for the day. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like when cell phones first started blowing up, 
like a lot of people made, became millionaires on uh, cell phone covers. Like I remember watching Shark Tank one time, and the lady on there was like, she made her millions on uh, actual cell phone covers. So like a lot of times, you know, the, the, the saying is like, you know, the people during like the gold rushes and things like that, it, where the, the the people making money were the ones selling the pickaxes and tools and supplies to the miners. Um, they were they were the ones who were making most of the money. Um, and something like this, though, like defects could be like a major serious problem. And if it is, then like you will end up seeing, um, you know, the, the type of security needed to circumvent deep fakes and, and the type of security concerns that it can cause. Those will start to crop up and it creates an industry that you can then you know, start to tap into. So one of the craziest things is that all of this uh, technology and really um, the ease of use of being able to interact with it is actually all done with Python. Uh, but Python isn't actually the core language that runs TensorFlow, which is the uh, machine learning aspect behind all this that, this stuff. That was actually written in C++. In fact, it also uses graphic cards opti uh, graphic card optimizations uh, because graphic card processors actually have much more or much faster processing capabilities. So the bottom line is that we're entering this new world of, of like deep fakes and how to detect it. And you can see already somebody asked on Reddit, how is it you know possible to detect it? And people are talking about uh, possible ideas to come up with products in order to detect it. So clearly um, this type of hype thing is probably real this, in some sense, but the videos that I've seen to date aren't like all that convincing. The most, uh, I think the, the biggest concern that people have is that they're using it for revenge porn, um, which hopefully you guys know what that is. I'm not going to explain it. Um, and then they're also using it uh, or they're, they're afraid that like countries um, and dictators and things like that could use it for propaganda uh, or even just, you know, extreme beliefs uh, like in any sort of small niche area or whatever. I would say the bad news is for people that are against this software is that this uh, project grew by six and a half thousand stars on GitHub. Um, so for GitHub level, like that's an astronomical growth. That means that there is a lot of developers looking at this right now. Um, so that means that we're, this is really just a start. So we're now seeing artificial intelligence that can sing songs based on looking at, uh, images. It's all terrible. It's worse than like a three-year-old would do, but it's still weird. There is, um, definitely some sort of technique to it because I've seen some like beginner videos that are really, really terrible at it. Uh, but there are some good ones. It's not complex. Or how about this? Simply president Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now. Anyway, guys, so a lot of uh, real geniuses went into the work behind TensorFlow, um, machine learning in, in general, data scientists, things like that. Um, but we now have these tools like, you know, deep fakes and this face swap uh, that's all written in Python. Um, so your typical everyday beginner programmer can learn a bit of basic pro uh, Python on a channel like mine or like anywhere else. And like you end up uh, just tapping into this. And next thing you know, you're doing like Barack Obama imitation videos if you want it or um, or worse. Like who knows, this is going to become easier though and there's going to be other things that come along that are similar to this. So uh, with machine learning and all the stuff that we've seen with TensorFlow, this is one of the more controversial things to come out of the last like couple of years, I would say.